In this lesson, you will learn do you need to develop your knight or your bishop first. This is one instructive example. Knight f3, d5, d4, c6, c4. And now it's time for black to develop one of his pieces. Should it be knight? or bishop. Correct answer is knight. And one of the most common moves in this position is knight f6. But black, black made big mistake and he played bishop g4. First he left his b7 uh, unprotected and white will use it. Let's just move away this bishop on g4 and stay with our good knight on e5. So now it's time to just exploit this b7 pawn. Queen b3, directly attacking it. Noble has few ways to defend it. For example, queen c8. But this is just bad because this C line will be very dangerous for black. And he will develop, and the white will develop his pieces normally and just attack and win. So, is there any better way? Actually, no. Bishop g4 was a very big mistake and there is no going back. In this game, black played queen v6. But he overlooked one really awesome tactic. Queen h3. And bishop on h5 is attacked, so black needs to protect it. If he played knight f6 before, this bishop would not be in danger, but now he needs to just move it away. For example, bishop g6 and then queen c8. What happens is that black has only one possible move, queen d8, but then this pawn on b7 is lost. This is not the only problem for black, because he needs to take care of his rook on a8, and the only way to do it is to put knight on d7. But now he is losing a piece, knight d7, and he must take it with queen, but then queen a8 and rook is lost. So he just resigned this game. In next video you will see why bishop f5 is bad. So stay tuned. See you soon.